Welcome back to Creature Files. In this episode, we'll be looking at the aquatic dinosaur, Suchomimus. Suchomimus lived during the Aptian to early Albion stages of the Cretaceous period, around 125 to 112 million years ago, in what is now Africa. This impressive creature measured between 9.5 to 11 metres long, and weighed between 2.5 to 5.2 metric tonnes. It is however believed that the specimen these measurements are based on may not have been fully grown. Suchomimus means crocodile mimic, and as its name suggests, it shares many characteristics with modern and extinct crocodiles. Its most notable feature, of course, is its long, narrow snout and jaws, which are unlike those of most other large theropod dinosaurs. This jaw, as well as its arrangement of pointed, back-curving teeth, suggests a diet primarily of fish, most likely having a lifestyle similar to that that has been speculated for all members of the Spinosaurid family. Suchomimus probably patrolled semi-aquatic environments such as rivers and lakes searching for fish, grasping them with its crocodile-like snout. It is believed that Suchomimus would have been an adept swimmer, fossil evidence suggesting that it had flat, webbed feet much like a crocodile. However, it is unlikely Suchomimus relied solely on fish and would likely have to have searched dry land for food. It is unclear whether Suchomimus actively hunted other animals or played a scavenger role in the ecosystem. This animal did have very large claws on its forelimbs which would have made effective hunting tools, though its narrow jaw would have been ineffective for killing large opponents. Suchomimus also had enlarged neural spines along its back, which would have evolved to serve some purpose. The two most common theories are either a skin sail, like its late Cretaceous relative Spinosaurus, or a hump for food storage, similar to that of modern camels. The Spinosaurid's impressive size and adaptations to an aquatic lifestyle allowed them to become one of the most successful groups of theropods until a series of climatic shifts caused the lush, damp environment they had dominated to disappear, ending their reign. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please support the channel by subscribing for more videos like this. Also, you can find Creature Files on Facebook, so head on over there and like the page. I'll leave a link in the description. See you next time on Creature Files.